Hi, I'm Derek Hilton, and my channel is all about photographing and filming wildlife. Now, what have I got in store for you today? Let's take a look. Hi, and welcome to my office. Now, tonight, it's all about photographing in the dark with the 7D Mark II. I'm going over here, set myself up, and I'll show you what I use to film in the dark with. And by the way, what am I filming tonight? Well, I love to film and photograph the agile Antichinus little carnivorous marsupial. And also, what I have here is a family of native rodents, not rats, they're rodents, and that is the bogle. A shy creature, not always easy if you had to find them. You can see where their trails and that are, but sometimes you can wait for hours, days, months, whatever, and not get anything. But here, nice little family of four, very used to me being here. I get the occasional antichinus coming in, take a bit of bait, and uh, they entertain me chasing each other because they don't uh, like to share their food, and the native bagel will chase off any other competitor that's around as well. You know, all we got to do is wait for nightfall. Well, I've got myself fairly well set up now. Got the camera on a tripod so we don't make much movements, so we don't scare them. And it also saves me carrying all that weight, lifting it up and down all the time. But when something turns up, if I go to lift it, it might frighten them. So it's always better to go on a tripod when we're in a fixed position like this. Got the LED light on, it's blinding me right now. The Mimic 360, got 360 LEDs. Uh, great light for this sort of conditions. I'm two metres away from my subject, so that light works really well. Also helps the camera focus in uh, during the day when it's a dimly lit environment like this too. How have we got our flash and our camera set up to do night photography? Okay, so our flash is set to manual, full power, high speed curtain sync to match up the 7D Mark II, shutter speed at a thousand to freeze the action. Because these little guys, even though they're really used to me, they still get very nervous. Uh, so quick movements every now and then, we don't get the blur with the a thousandth of a second shutter speed. My aperture will be set at ooh, anywhere between f9 and f5 and my ISO is either 1000 or 2000. Now why am I saying that for? Why am I not quite so sure? Well I have never used to photograph wildlife the Gary Fung Light Spear Diffuser. It's my first time. So we'll see just how the difference between with and without. Hopefully this might give me a better image, I don't know. I'll have to have a little play and just put it on uh, ISO over 1000 to adjust the aperture up and down, see what works best at that distance. Now we have to keep in mind that a zoom lens, that's a 300mm lens, and the cropping power of the 7D Mark II, we are not going to have any depth of field at all.
Well, I'm done for the night. Got some great images. Didn't get that spectacular one that I'm always after. That one in a million. But if we keep coming back to the same spot, our chances are pretty good at getting some sort of a spectacular shot. Now, the light spear looks all right. It's always different when we put them on the computer, though, aren't they? But it has a very warm tone to it. That's what I'm seeing the most. Seems to be all right. Check it out, kiddo. Now, how do we go about building up a trust with our little animals? Well, it takes time. We can't rush things. The light, a lot of animals just don't like the light. Ooh. Nearly lost my camera. Now, where were we before I nearly lost my camera? Building up the trust with an animal. We need to take our time, do it over a period of a week. And I've got my little bagel just come out again. Still a little bit of food there. So a little gnaw away there. So I'm talking quite loud and not worrying about me at all. Because I've built up this long trust. I've been coming here for a couple of months now, every now and then. Every second or third night, whenever I sort of can. Went in the dark, do a little bit of filming. So I come during the day, sit here with all my gear, film them during the day. They slowly get used to me, then I'll slowly bring, introduce the light. Come a little bit later on in the afternoon, put the light on, half, just on half or something like that, so that it, they get used to it and slowly Start putting it on full bore as it goes dark. And they're happy, they'll sit there, eat the food in front of you, you know you've got their trust up. Now we can introduce the flash. Now we have to be careful how we go about doing that. Same again, we have to build up a new set of trust with them. Because it's blinding, it's a great big flash, quite noisy the camera. So what we do is, we set ourselves up again, let them come out, have a bit of a chill and food, and they'll hop off. In a few minutes time, that's what tends to happen here, a few more minutes time, something else will come out, sit down, get comfortable, take a photograph, but don't do any more, that's it for the night, just that one. We'll come back, come and get a bit of food and run off, because they'll be nervous. Next time they come back, they'll get relaxed again and then you, you've got that trust again. And the following night, do the same again and get settled. When they get in the right pose position, take a photograph. They'll run off, they'll come back again a few minutes later. Don't take one. Let them have a, a bit of a feed and then they'll go off. And they'll come back again a little bit later on, take another photograph. So you get where I'm going. It's, just take it slow, don't rush things. Wait until they get in the right pose for you, get a nice shot. Build up a, a really good trust with the animal over time. Now also, I forgot to talk about what sort of um, shutter mode I'm in. So it's not continuous, it's in one shot, but it's in the silent mode. It's a little bit slower but it's quieter. It doesn't upset our subject as much. Now I have my case set to case two. Works really good in dim lit environments. It focuses very quickly, especially with the LED light on. Yes, it's very bright, but if you have a play with all the other settings, you should come back to case two. It really does instantly focus really well. The others are a little bit quite there. So that's how we set up uh, night photography. Hope you enjoyed this little ditty.
It's a bit cold tonight. I've put on my new jacket that I bought last week. Waterproof, 100% waterproof. Fits beautiful, very comfortable. And uh, also got the thermal wear on as well. Keep yourself nice and warm. And they're made by a company called, oh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, I'll splash it up here so that I can remember. Oh yes, Cape, that's what it's called. Cape Hiking Gear Wear. Great stuff. I should do a review on hiking gear clothing, shouldn't I? I'll leave that for another day. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click on the subscription button down below and you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you'd like to have a look at all the things I've been doing over the years, like camera accessory reviews, the odd little ditty like this, and other camera related stuff, click on my icon down below. And just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. See ya. taken me some time but they're fairly well used to me.